Hello guys, good afternoon everybody. Hello, no sé si me escuchan. Hello, yes, can you hear me guys? Hello teacher. Hello, Jorge. How are Hello. you? Hello teacher. I'm Hello, fine. Daniela. Okay, that's good to hear. Okay guys, I uh, hope you are okay and that you are safe. So let's get started with the lesson. Remember that yesterday have some of the speaking activities. I don't know if somebody wants to present today. Ayer quedaron pendientes algunos. No sé si... Uh, les, se les sali, se salieron del... Lo sacaron. De, se sal, lo sacaron prácticamente. Uh -huh. Ok. A varios usuarios sacaron de, de su... De su eh, se... ¿Eso fue por parte de acá o no, no entendí? ¿O de la compañía? No sé. ¿Hola? ¿O es conmigo? Sí, sí. Ah, ok. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué pasó? ¿Ya se salieron? ¿O por, fue por la empresa? ¿O por Zoom? ¿O por qué? No, no, no entendí muy bien. ¿Qué pasó este, con los demás? No les reconecta. Ah, Zoom. Sí, es... No reconecta, sí, Zoom es el problema. Zoom es el okay, okay. servidor no encontrado, les aparece todo, no, no entra. Ah, bueno, voy a reportar eso, la verdad, porque sí desconozco de, de eso. Puede ser que más tarde se puedan incorporar, right? Ok, vamos a empezar entonces. Let's get started. Quizás se puedan incorporar más tarde your classmates. Ok. Hola. Hola. Que sí me están diciendo que no. Ok. De aquí, no voy sé a si hay problema de aquí. Yo voy a revisar. Ok, ok. Muchas hambre. gracias. Ok. So let's get started, guys. Y también voy a reportar eso con Insafor, right? Maybe también ellos puedan hacer algo. Ok. Ok, let's uh, go with the lesson, right? And uh, no sé si los que están acá. Uh, is there somebody who didn't present yesterday? No sé si hay alguien. Oh, yes, George. Mm -hmm. Okay. With Ruth. Okay, with Ruth, but she's not here, right? Wow. Okay, maybe si no quiere, lo... if you want, George, we can give them some minutes and then you can present with her. Okay. Okay, thank you, George. So let's go with the lesson. Okay, so uh, we're gonna have the speaking activity later. So uh, we're going to review the topics, right? What prepositions uh, we learned yesterday, eh, Guadalupe? ¿Cuáles son las preposiciones that we learned yesterday? Which prepositions do you remember? Mm -hmm. um... Above. Oh, yes, we use above. Mm -hmm. Below. Below. Near. Near. On. On. In. In. Next to. Next to. Uh, where? Under. Next to. Under. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Behind. Very Behind. Uh, in front to. In front of, yes, in front of. front of, very good. Okay, most of them have them, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, eh, Guadalupe. So today we're going to start lesson section three with countries, nationalities, and languages. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso del verb to be, los numbers del, from 11 to 200. And that's some dictation practices, right? Okay, let's go with the nationalities and the countries. If you have the opportunity to travel to a place or to a country, what country would you choose? ¿Qué país elegiríamos si tuviéramos la oportunidad de viajar, to travel? What country? What country would you choose, eh, Gabriela? Mm -hmm. Hello, Gabriela. What country would you choose or would you like to travel? Me gustaría viajar. Hoy se me fue Gabriela. 
Yes. Oh, they are coming, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, Lorena, what about you, Lorena? What country would you like to visit? What country would you like to visit, Lorena? Hello, se me fue Lorena también. Hola, hola. Hello. Uh, hello. 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 There it is. Um, hello. Seoul. Oh, Seoul? Oh, really? Why yes. Seoul? Why? ¿Por qué? Why Seoul? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué le gustaría visitar Seúl? Fíjese que, si le soy honesta, veo varias series. Ah, oh, <laughs> y me llama la atención. A lot of programs sí. that are in Seúl. Ok, yes, right. Ok, thank you, Gabriel. Uh, Lorena, what about you, Gabriela? Tell me, what country would you like to visit if you had the opportunity? Mm. I choose Mexico. Mexico City. You would choose? Yes. I would like to visit Mexico. I would, I would like to visit Mexico City. Okay. Why Mexico? And for example, not Canada, United States, China. Why not? Why Mexico? Um, I think uh, it's mm, more possible that I visit Mexico City than the United States, right? Yeah. I don't have I don't have uh, visa. Oh, the visa, yeah. yeah. It's so difficult. It is to get one yeah. these days, yes. My, my father and my brothers live in the United States, but I think it's difficult to <laughs> obtain uh, the visa. Yeah, and but I I I like um Mexico City, mm -hmm. and I like to um uh, the beach. From oh, the Mexico. beach! Uh, yes, yes, right. Yeah, I've I seen. like mm -hmm. I like um Cabo San Lucas. Okay, that sounds interesting. Have you ever been yeah. there? Just have you ever? Have you ever been there? No, no. But no, you would like, okay. I would like, yes. Perfect, okay, thank you, Gabriela. Okay, what about you, Jorge? What country would you like to visit? I would like to visit Tokyo or Osaka. Okay, from the other part of the world, right? Why, why those countries? Por qué, George? Why? The culture. The culture and development technology. Yes, right. Those countries have a very high uh, development, right? As you said, in the in technology. Yes, they are very advanced. Okay, guys, we're going to listen to this section, and uh, I want you to pay attention to the cities and countries, right? So that is going to be the topic that we are going to be discussing this day. Okay, let's just check pronunciation, right? Unit three is one, snapshot. The 10 largest cities in the world. Listen and practice. Cities. One, Tokyo. Two, Seoul. Three, Mexico City. Four, New York City. Five, Mumbai. Six, Jakarta. Seven, Sao Paulo. Eight, Delhi. Nine, Osaka. Ten, Shanghai. Countries. A. Brazil. B. China. C. India. D. Indonesia. E. Japan. F. Mexico. G. South Korea. H. The U.S. The US. Okay, so let's see. We have Tokyo, we have Seoul, we have Mexico City. What is the, let's see, the city 
what country belongs to to Tokyo, for example? What can be the the city, for example, or the country? Japan. Oh yes, we have that. It is Japan, right? We have that. It is Japan. What about Seoul? What about Seoul, guys? What is the country for Seoul? Seoul is uh, South Korea. South Korea. Korea. Yes, South Korea. South Korea. What about a difficult one? Mexico City. What is the country of Mexico City? Mexico. <laughs> yes, Mexico. right. The difficult one. The what difficult. about very difficult? What about a uh, New York City? What about New York City? The US. The US, right? The uh, US. Say. What about Mumbai? What about Mumbai? Mumbai. It in is India. India, India, right? You know, in India, there are a lot of uh, technology too, right? The technology yes, people, the yeah. Yeah, they are very development. Uh, medicine, a teacher. Uh, medicine, medicine. Medicine, mm -hmm. medicine, yes. Yes, they, they, they work a lot. There are many doctors in the US that belong to uh, Asia or those countries. What about Jakarta? What is the, the country? In Indo Indonesia. 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 Okay, Indonesia. What about Sao Paulo? What about Sao Paulo? Brazil. Brazil. We have Brazil. that it is Brazil, right? A very festival, <laughs> festival country. What about Delhi? India. 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 Okay, we have that it is India. And what about Osaka? Japan. Mm -hmm, that it is Japan, yes, right? And uh, what about Shanghai? What, what country? China, right? Yep. That is another country, right, that has grown a lot. Okay, so let's continue with um, some of their exercise. Unit. And uh, so here we have the country, right? El país, the country. We have the nationality and then we have the language. Okay, <clears throat> preguntas, what questions can we use? For example, where are you from? ¿Qué otra pregunta podemos utilizar? Where are you from? Where do you live? Okay. We can use uh, where do you live? Uh, Where do you live? Um, what about the nationality? The nationality, are you, are you American? Are you American? Are you American? And uh, what about the language? ¿Qué preguntas podemos hacer con el language? We can say, do you speak, do you English. speak English? Yes, do you speak English? Okay, is English. Is English your native language, también? Your native language? What is your native language, guys? What is your native language, Carlos? Mm -hmm. Your native language. What is? Is it Spanish? It is Spanish, it is Spanish right? Yeah. Yes. It is Spanish. It is. Spanish. Okay. Uh, can you speak uh, French, Gustavo? Can you speak or do you speak French? I don't. You don't speak, but you would like. What, what is the language you would like to learn? ¿Cuál es otro language. idioma? Otro idioma aparte del inglés? What is another language? Portuguese. Portuguese, yes. What is another language you would like to learn? What about you, Ivania? What is another language you would like to learn? I like to learn French. Oh yes, French is, uh, it's a very romantic language, right? Yeah. Very romantic. Okay, what about you, Eden Nilsson? What is another language you would like to learn? My uh, Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese. Oh, yes. Portuguese. 
Okay, that's good. Okay, what about you, Guadalupe? What is another language you would like to learn? Uh, Italian. Italian, okay, uh, yes, Italian. <laughs> okay, there you have, aquí tenemos some of the questions, right? Que podemos utilizar cuando tengamos el country para preguntar el country, the nationality, and the language. So let's continue. Um, do you have any other question, guys, related to countries, nationalities, and languages? No questions? Okay. So let's continue and uh, let's um, have some of the structures, right? Algunas estructuras. Recordemos que when we are talking about, for example, city, uh, we have to use the verb to be and from, right? Tenemos, I am from. Sydney. Eh, también el caso del country, I am from Australia, I am from El Salvador. En el caso de la nationality, es solamente el verbo to be. I am Salvadorian, I am Australian. Okay, so here you have some of the questions, right? Okay, so let's continue with some activities. Ya veo que se incorporaron algunos. Eh, no sé si vamos a presentar right now. Can you present? Entonces, ¿Estamos listos with your partners? Are you ready? Uh, I think it was George. No sé si está Ruth. No yet. Oh, ready. Yet. Oh, but Ruth, no. Oh, yes. Is she? Hi. Okay. <laughs> she is there. Okay. Can yes. you present, please, guys? Okay. Uh, what is the. Uh, what, what is the address book? The address book is, oh, oh pardon, excuse me. Okay, Ruth, the, is, address, the address book is on the desk. Uh, what is the table? The table is behind the moni moni monitor. What is the calculator? The calculator is the below the sofa. Where are the scissor? The scissor are next to the calculator. Where is books? Where are the books? The books are on the li library. Uh, okay. Only the okay, thank you, George. No sé si alguien, somebody else who uh, didn't present yesterday. Alguien más? Somebody else? Nobody else? Okay, good. Oh, oh, yes. No? Nobody? Hi. Oh, Glenda? Yes, is it you, Glenda? Uh, uh, ayer trabajé con, con Gustavo. Okay. El... Okay, estamos listos? Ellen Nilsson. Hola. Elenilson. Ah, Lorena, Lorena con Elenilson. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, go ahead, guys. Hi, Lorena. Hi, Lorena. And your house, in will look for your things. Thank you, Eli. I can't find your things. Where is your bag? My bag is under the table. Great. And new, we are your shoes? The shoes are on the sofa. And where is your jacket? It's between the door and the furniture. Okay, Lore, I can't see you book. Where are they? My books are on the table. Okay, what is your blue cat cat and um, where are your nuts? My blue caps is above the bed and I think my nuts are on the floor. I think that your things I will hide them to you later. Thank you very much. I see you soon. Okay, thank you, Lorena and Ellen Nilsson. So nobody else, guys. If not, I can move on. No, 
Nobody else? Yani, yani, okay. Ivania. Ja Janira and Ivania. Okay. Go ahead, ladies. Please, can mm -hmm. I to show the screen? Yeah, sure. Okay, give me just a second. Maybe you can show it now. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah. No, no. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Jan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Janira. I'm packing the objects in your home. Where is the laptop? Hi, dear. Oh my god, my gosh. My apartment is messy. Sorry. But the laptop is um, on the sofa. Don't worry. Where is the TV? It's on the TV. Where are your shoes? They are below of the table. I found everything. Many things. Thank you. And please don't tell anyone about my mess. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Ivania. Nobody will know, Ivania. Nobody. <laughs> Just ask. <laughs> okay. Thank you, ladies. Okay. Um, let's check some of the sentences that we can improve, right? Vamos a ver algunas expresiones que podemos mejorar when we are speaking, right? Ok, el día de ayer escuché que me dijeron the keys, the keys in the table. In the table, digamos, or in the bag. ¿Cuál sería el error? What is the mistake in that sentence? The keys in the bag. ¿Qué nos hace falta? What is missing? Bar. Yes, the right. Bar. Exactly. Bar. No debemos olvidar the bar. We don't, we can't. Yes. We must not. The keys are in the back. No nos olvidemos del verbo. Eh, también de clases. Escuché que me dijeron de clases. Behind. Behind the table. El mismo error, right? The glasses are. Yes. También escuché que me dijeron el oso teddy. Para decir, por ejemplo, oso vamos a decir. Teddy bear. Teddy bear. Ok. Teddy bear. Eh, también me dijeron en onda repisa, vamos a decir on shelf, right? En el caso de repisa, on the shelf. También de bus, de bus me dijeron are. ¿Cuál sería el error ahí? De bus are on the is. next, me dijeron the bus on the... is. Exactly, on the next to the on bed. The next, next to the bed. Okay, ¿Podemos decir on the next to the bed? ¿Podemos decir eh, on the next to the bed? No, solo on o next to. Yes, exactly. Entonces vamos a quitar. Vamos a quitar our. The bus is next to. The next right? to the bed. El, el dan no tiene que estar solo. Vamos a decir next to the bed. Ok. okay eh, también hay que tener cuidado con esta palabra. Scissors. La palabra es C source con S, T source. The C source are um, in the box. That is the, the singular and plural is C source, right? Okay, and the other one, eh, más que todo pronunciación. Este es el verbo encontrar. Vamos a decir find. 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 Okay, I find some things here. Okay, so those are some of the sentences that we need to improve, right? Teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y llave se pronuncia igual que besos. Keys. Keys. Mm -hmm. Keys. Mismo. Oh, okay. Yes, it is the same. No estoy segura si es, por ejemplo, uno es con z y el otro es con s. Creo que keys es más que todo el sonido con s. Right, pero ya entramos a... Uh, en los sonidos que siempre siempre vemos, pero creo, me parece que es más que todo la finalización déjeme solo corroborar y le, y le confirmo ok ok, so uh, let's continue uh, with some more activities, right ok, let's see Ahí está. 
Okay, so ya vimos el verb to be, right? Ya vimos en as a negative, uh, we study as a question, right? And uh, uh, as an answer. Recordemos que as a question va al principio. For example, uh, is Eden Nilsson single? Uh, let's see, Alberto, tell me, is Eden Nilsson single? Is, yes, is Eden Nilsson, that's a person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, he is right. Okay, Eden Nilsson, are you single? Yes, uh, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, right. I am. Oh, yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so you have that. Yes, he is right. So, what about uh, Carlos? Carlos, um, are you a student, Carlos? Are you a student? Carlos, are you a student? The yes. Mom in English, uh, MBA, yes. Oh, okay, so you are a student, right? You are studying yes. in, the, in the afternoon. For studying English, mm -hmm. for studying English in the morning, and other MBA. Mm -hmm. the... Your master's degree? Yes. Oh, okay, you are studying your master's degree. Okay, that's good, right? You keep studying. Okay, what about you, Lorena? Are you married? Are you married, Lorena? Hello. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Yes, I am right. A lot. <laughs> okay, that's good. So this is a review, right, of the verb to be. So we are just to remember, right, the structure. So help me with this one. Let's see, Janira Mejia. Can you read number uh, letter A, please, and help me? Hello, Janita, your microphone. Are Diane and Mario from Ecuador? Okay, the answer, Janita. Uh, no, they are not. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, they are from Mexico. They, okay, they are from Mexico. Okay, very they good. Are from Mexico. Okay, thank you. Glenda, please, the next one. Thank you, Yanira. Hello, Glenda. Hi, hi Miss. Mm -hmm. um, the next one, please. Okay. Are you from Mexico too? Okay, are you from Mexico? No, and the answer? No. Mm -hmm. Nor are not. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I am from Colombia. No, I am not. Ah, yeah. I am. Mm -hmm. No, I am not. I'm from Colombia. Okay, thank you. Glenda, can you help me, uh, Gustavo? The next one. So, 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 it's your first language, Spanish. Yes, is your first language Spanish? And the answer? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, there we are. The verb to be, right? Estamos bastante bien. Um, I don't know if you have questions about the verb to be. Algo que nos haya quedado con dudas? Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, George. Mm -hmm. si, si hacemos la pregunta con el verbo to be contractado, así tenemos que responder también. Si hacemos la pregunta, no sé si la pregunta. La question, ajá. Uh -huh. No, la question siempre tiene que ir de, de la forma larga, right? Larga. Ah, sí, okay. siempre. Are. Lo que cambiaría es más que todo la respuesta, pero corta. Cor ah, okay. uh -huh. Solo ahí cambia. Pero ya si es en pregunta, tenemos que utilizar are, is o am al principio. Ok. Uh -huh. Gracias. Ok, you're welcome, George. What do you mean in Spanish? So. I'm sorry. So, uh, así que, así que, o así entonces. Que. Uh -huh. Así que, o entonces también. Okay, so let's go with uh, the numbers, right? Tenemos los numbers from one to uh, 103. Tenemos eh, 11, eh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19, and 20. Y para formar eh, los números, es decir, 21, 22, solo vamos a cambiar, solo vamos a agregar 21, 22, and so on. Lo mismo pasaría en el caso del 30, 31, 32, 33. Para ser 31, 32, solo vamos a agregar 1, 2, depending, right? Tenemos, we have 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Para formar el 100, uh, it is going to be 100. Si queremos decir, wow, 100, eh, 110, por ejemplo. Solo le vamos a agregar 100, 110, 110. Eh, si queremos decir, por ejemplo, 111. Si quiero escribir 111, solo voy a agregar 100, 111, right? Ok, básicamente así se forman los números. No sé si tengamos duda, how to form the numbers. Uh -huh. Questions. El, el end es optional, right? Es optional, si usted quiere decirlo. It's okay. Okay, no sé si hay dudas, questions about how to form numbers. Por ejemplo, como digo, how can I say 126? How can I say that, guys? 126. Yes, solo tomo, right? 126, si yo quiero decir eh, 263. 200. Yes, ok. 200. 200. 200. 60. 60. 63. 63. 63. Muy bien. Ok, uh, here lo único que tenemos que ver es the pronunciation, right? Uh, for example, si tenemos el, uh, for example, 30, 30. Uh, 13, right? Tengamos que hablar with just the pronunciation. 13, 30, 30. Uh, yes, Carlos. Uh -huh. You say 21,500 kilos. Going to be 21,000 what? 500, right? So kilos. Kilos. Yeah. Kilos. I'm not quite sure if it's kilogram. I'm not quite sure. Kilos. Let, let me just check. Creo que es kilograms, but I'm not sure. Let me just confirm that. Kilo. Yes, it is kilo. The same. Kilo, the same. This one. Mm -hmm. The correct 2001. 500. 2001. 2001. 2001. Uh huh. 2001. Um, mm -hmm. 500. 500. 2001. 500. 2001. 500. I think it's this one. No, it's 500. This one. Is that the number, Carlos? Quiero decir 21.500 kilos. Oh, 21.500. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's going to be uh, 21,500. Mm -hmm. But we're okay. going to study that. Okay, by yeah. now it is going to be until, until 103, right? But in this case, if I'm not if I'm not wrong, it can be like twenty one thousand five hundred. But you're going to study that later, okay? okay. Kilo. Okay. So uh, basically, uh, that is the way that we form los números de three digits, right, and two digits. Okay. Uh, questions about the numbers, the pronunciation, for example. My point, quizás mi principal punto is. That tengamos cuidado with the pronunciation, for example, with 13, 30, for example, 14, 40, tenemos 15, 50, okay, so on. Vamos a escuchar un audio, and then we are going to have a dictation practice, okay? So let's listen to the pronunciation in this case. 
Page 19, Part B. Listen and practice. Notice the word stress. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. Okay, there you have. Can you read, please? Uh... Ivania, can you read the first numbers, please? 13. Mm -hmm. 30. Very good. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jose, please, the next one. Hello. Mm -hmm. 14. Mm -hmm. 40. Okay. What about this one? Uh, okay, thank you, Jose. Okay. What about mm -hmm. this one, Gabriela? Uh, 15 mm -hmm. and 50. Okay, thank you. Okay, Guadalupe, can you help me with this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, hello. Okay, there you are. Mm -hmm. 16. 16. Very good. Okay, guys, we are ready with the pronunciation. So now I want you to take a notebook, right? Y vamos a tener un dictado. So you're going to copy the numbers and uh, you are going to tell me later what the numbers are. Okay, give me a second. And uh, vamos a, let's see if I can. Okay, there it is. Let's see. So let's listen. 84. Okay, one more time. Okay. Ya lo tenemos en number one. One more yeah. time. I'm going to play this one more time, okay? 84. Y vamos con el segundo. 100. 95 57 60 43 21 16 79, 38. Okay, one more time. Yes, one more time. Okay, let's listen. 84, 100, 95. 57, 60, 43, 21, 16, 79, 38. Okay, there you have. What was the first uh, number? What was the first number? I'm sorry? 24. Can you write it, please? 84. 84. 84. Yeah. yeah, it was 84, right? 84. 84. Yeah. 84. Yes. What about the second one? 100. 100. Yes, 100. What about the third one? Number three? 95. 95. 95. 90, 90, yes, right, 95. Yes, and the next one. 57. 57, 57. Yes, 57. Mm. There you are. What about the next one? 
60. 60. 60. 60. 60. Yes. And what about the next one? 60. 40. 43. 43. 43. Right. 43. 43. 43. Mm -hmm. 43. And the next one? 21. 21. 21. 21. Mm -hmm. The next one? 16. 16. 16. 16. Is it 16 or 60? 16. 16. Yes, right. 16. Mm -hmm. What about the next one? 79. 79. 79. And the next one? 38. 38. 38. There you have. Not 38. Okay. Yes. 38, right? 38. 38. 38. 38. 38. Okay, estamos bastante bien with numbers, right? Congratulations, guys. We are very good with the numbers. Okay, uh, I don't know if you have questions with numbers, for example. Eh, si queremos hacer números más grandes, les voy a compartir una imagen donde usted pueda ahí ver también. Así que eso es solo, just in case you want to learn more about numbers. Okay, so uh, let's continue with the, the topics, right? Okay, más dudas about numbers, questions? No questions about numbers? Ok, I guess we are good. So, tenemos la edad. ¿Cómo, ¿Cuál es la pregunta? What is the question when we are talking about age? Cuando estamos hablando de la edad. What is the question that we use? Cuando estamos hablando de age. I'm sorry? How old are you? How, ok. How old are you? How old are you? Ok, in the case of Carol, ¿cómo puedo hacer una pregunta para decir cuántos años tiene Carol? Teacher, mm -hmm. es you o your al final. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, thank you. How old are you? Thank you, Alberto. Ok, what about Carol? ¿Cómo puedo decir cuántos años tiene Carol? Mm -hmm. How old is Carol? Carol? How old, muy bien. How old is Carol? O la otra forma. How old? How old is she, right? If that is another way. And the answer, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? What is the answer? Carol. Oh, Carol. Carol. Mm -hmm. Carol. How old? Mm. Ok. Tengamos cuidado, tengamos has, cuidado. Has, Cuando siempre, siempre has, que hablemos has. de edad, nunca vamos a utilizar el have o has, sino que siempre vamos a utilizar el verbo to be. Caro is. She is 76 years old. Ok. O también she is, right? She is 76 years old. Usualmente el have o el has lo vamos a utilizar cuando tengamos algún objeto. Por ejemplo, yo tengo un teléfono, yo tengo un carro, yo tengo una casa. Pero en el caso de la edad, siempre es el verbo to be. Okay. What about Richard? ¿Cómo puedo decir cuántos años tiene Richard? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? Richard. How old is Richard? Yes. How old? How old? Is Richard? Responder. He is how old? He is fifty. Yes, fifty years old. What about Amber? What about Amber? What is the question? How old is Amber? How old? Yes. How old is Amber? Amber. Amber. She Age. is. She is. She is. Sixteen. No. Seventeen. Yes. She is seventeen. Right. She is seventeen years old. old. Yeah. What about the twins? What about the twins? Jay and Joe. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? How old are Jay and Joe. Yes, tenemos two possibilities, right? How old? How old are Jay and 
Joe, and the ends. ¿Cómo nos queda la respuesta? They are. Yeah, they. They are 10 years old. Hmm? Is, that, is it the uh, age is different? Okay, so imagine that J is 11. So we can say. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say well, that. Oh, yeah. J. Me, solo que le falta el old. Years old. Oh, how, how, oh, are, oh, how old? How yes. Are, yes. Thank you. Thank you. How old are? Okay, thank you. So in that case, so we can say J is. 12 and uh, Joe, Joe is 13, digamos, years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the case, it is different age, right? Okay, let's see. Edenilson, is Carlos 25 years old, Edenilson? Is Carlos 25 years old? No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> How old is he? How old is he? Carlos is 40, 43 years old. 43 years old. Okay. Carlos, are you 43 years old? Yes. Yes, I am, right? Yes, Probably yes. I am. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Gabriela, is Eden Nilsson? 30 years old is Eden Nilsson 30 years old? Uh, he is not. No, he how old is he? Um maybe he's um 45. 45 maybe. Years maybe. Old, maybe. Okay, okay, kind of. Okay, yeah. an approximation, right? Okay. Okay, thank you. No sé si hay más dudas about the age, right? About the questions uh, when we talk about age. No questions? No. No, okay, perfect. So let's move on to the next uh, topic, right? So we have some of the WH questions when we use them with the verb to be. Uh, remember, recordemos que tenemos dos tipos de preguntas, right? Tenemos las que son las yes, no questions. No questions. Y tenemos el otro tipo de pregunta que son las WH questions, right? En la primera solo queremos saber un sí o un no. Basically that. Por ejemplo, estás soltero, estás casado, sí, no, eres del Salvador. Esas son las yes, no questions. A diferencia de las WH questions, que queremos saber una información eh, más específica, right? Tenemos la primera, we have what's your name, ya le estudiamos esta, where are you from, how are you today, and uh, who's that, quién es él, uh, how old, ya vimos el how old, what's she like, en el caso que vamos a utilizar what's she like or what's he like. Eh, es como para decir cómo es él, right? She's very nice, or she is very rude, or alguna uh, idea que tengamos de esa persona. Who are they? ¿Quiénes son ellos? They are my friends. They are my classmates. Where are they from? And uh, what's San Francisco like? ¿Cómo es San Francisco? It's very beautiful. Por ejemplo, what's El Salvador like? Oh, El Salvador is amazing, right? So those are some of the questions. Does you say do this about any questions, WH questions with the verb to be? No questions? Okay, so let's uh, work in this activity. And uh, uh, you're going to be working this in the breakout rooms, right? It's going to be super easy activity. And uh, you are going to be working there. I'm gonna share it in the WhatsApp group. La voy a compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp para que ustedes for you to work in pairs, right? So let's go to the breakout rooms and uh, let's uh, work in this activity. Okay, let's go. Okay. 
Hello, Glenda. Okay, there you are. Hello, Glenda, Ruth, eh, Rita, questions about the activity? Uh, um, yeah, yes, I I miss, I I have a sick, I, I am sick. You are sick, ah, okay. Uh, are you okay? Are you okay? Uh -huh. I have a doubt and a, about the question. Oh, she's a new story. Okay, mm -hmm. who's that? In, in this case, answer is possible, yes. I don't know if it's solo for the exercise. Okay, okay. Remember that we have to use the questions that I showed you before, right? So we have, for example, I think her name is Eugene. So we have the answer, the name. So what question can we use if we are talking about names? Uh, no, the last uh, question mm -hmm. say she is a new student. Uh -huh, that is the yes. answer. The answer may be uh, yes, she is. Mm, no. Okay. What's your name, Maria? Uh, okay, we are very close with that one too. Uh -huh. I, uh, in the uh -huh. question. In the question. Uh -huh. in the... What's your Next. name? I we have the answer. I think. Her name is Ju Jing. Ju Jing. So what, what is going to be? What's, what's, what's her? What's what, her name? What's her name? Her name. Right? What's her name? Yeah. Um, I think her name is Ju Jing. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay. It's, uh, okay. Okay, based on the answer, you can find the question, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, perfect, please. Thank you.
Okay, Hola. guys. Hello, hello, Alberto. Hello. Okay, so um, let's see. We just have one minute. Can you help me with the next one, Alberto, please? Ah, okay, excellent. Uh, la primera. Yes, the first one. Uh -huh. What is her name? What is her name? Okay, can you please continue, Alberto? Uh, what is she from? Where is she ah, from? Uh -huh. Where? Where, Where is she from, pardon? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, very good, Alberto Jorge, please. Number two. Number two. Hi, Brittany. Ah. Mm -hmm. What is? Uh -huh. Brittany, hi, Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the Leandro? What is Leandro he like? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe. so maybe, maybe, right? Okay, let's do something. Let's wait for much tiempo. If you can share your answers in the WhatsApp group, you can do it. And tomorrow we are going to check it, right? So thank you so much, guys, for coming. I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye take care. care. Teacher. Teacher, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, see you.